uh, prayer warriors, <clears throat> everyone who will, we've got to continue praying for Aubrey's daughter. Remember, I put up a prayer request, what was it, like three of them, yesterday. But this one was the one for the five-year-old daughter of Aubrey McCloskey. She says on here, I feel I'm being tested now. I'm at Children's Hospital with my daughter because she spiked to 104.6. Please, please continue to pray. Thank you. Heavenly Father, I ask you once again to please, please to put your healing hand upon this little girl. I can't remember her name, but you know her. You know every cell in her body. You know why she's spiking a fever. You know what's going on. You are the perfect physician, and you can heal anybody that you will. Lord, I pray that if this is coming from any kind of curse or source like that, that you would make it cease and desist and return to the sender. If it's just a bug, a flu, and dare I say it, the COVID-19, Lord, you can heal all things. And we know those doctors know how now. So I'm asking you to give the doctors the wisdom to know what's going on and to treat her quickly and properly if you don't choose to heal her miraculously just like that and we know you can do it Jesus when you walked on the earth you healed people in an instant you didn't send them to the local uh, doctor like Luke and tell you know tell him uh, give ask Dr. Luke to give you some this that and the other that's not how you healed we know that sometimes you do that now, but Lord, I'm just asking you, put your hand on this little girl and heal her, however it is in your will, in Jesus' precious and holy name, I pray, amen and amen, and give Aubrey the strength, give her the strength to pray and trust and keep her faith up. And to rebuke all thoughts of doubt. In Jesus' name I pray for her. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all, just please keep praying for Aubrey's daughter. Keep her in your prayers tonight and tomorrow. Aubrey, you give us an update again tomorrow. Leave a comment. Send an email. Whatever you want to do. Okay, let us know how she's doing. All right, thank you. And thank you for telling us that she's in the hospital now. And you, you probably are being tested. I've been feeling like my faith has been tested lately. And this could be like our final purification time. So I pray you keep that in mind. All right. With that, I say, I, I plead the blood of Jesus over that little girl, over Aubrey, the whole family. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my computer, and the internet connection. I plead the blood of Jesus over every, every single one of you, all my subscribers, and your devices, and your internet connections. And y'all let us keep Lena in our prayers also. Jubilina, she has Jubilina Redeemed as her channel. I was asked, I believe yesterday, if I'd heard from her, and I have not. Apparently, she put up a video uh, not that long ago, and it was taken down. And Roxanne, who keeps in close contact with her, told me she had not heard from her. She hasn't been able to reach her. Emails won't go through. Uh, I can't remember what else she said, but whatever it was, texting maybe, uh, phone, I don't remember. But 
they couldn't she couldn't reach her so let's keep them in our prayers also uh, lena and her little doggy beignet remember we prayed for her she was bleeding out of her nose profusely and we all prayed for the dog and it got it it, it quit bleeding because she didn't have the money for the vet well it got okay it was okay the next morning so see our prayers do help so let's keep praying for this little girl and keep pr and pray for lena that uh she can reach roxanne or vice versa and um put another video up and let us know how she's doing okay with that I, with that i'll let you go and i'll say bye for now y'all i'll talk to you later